this is really a very different kind of role for you, which begs the question, what drew you to it? Uh, well, just that. It was a very different kind of role for me, and um, and it was an exciting challenge, and uh, I jumped at the chance. Challenges are good, I think. Um, Scott Lang has a lot going on in the movie. What would you say his primary motivation is? Uh, being the type of father that his daughter already views him to be, which is heroic and uh, a good person. When you say that, I, I sense that you get great meaning from that. Well, uh, yeah, sure. You know, I'm a father. I have a little girl, and uh, it's and I, and I have a son as well. And so, you know, you want to be that person that your kids view you to be when they're little. You know, you're, they're, you're just... My dad was my hero, so I know my kids look at me right now as their hero, and, and hopefully they will continue to look at me like that. I think we do that with our parents. And, and so, you know, you want to live up to that. Perfect. All right. When ex-con Scott Lang becomes Ant-Man, do you think it changes him in any way? Yeah, I think that when Scott becomes Ant-Man, it does change him um, in that he, you know, he's, he's doing something that maybe he's not so sure he wants to do. He's being a little more selfless than he, maybe he's used to, and he's really learning to, I think, wrap his brain around sacrificing himself for the good of his, his not only his daughter, but of humankind. I want you to tell me how you felt the very first time you put on that suit. The very first time I put on that suit, I felt like a little kid. I was excited about playing this role. I was excited to uh, start. And when I saw the suit for the first time, I couldn't believe it. But when I put it on, I uh, stood differently. I looked at myself in the mirror and thought, oh my god, I'm actually in a superhero costume. And I felt it inside. It was incredible. So you felt a little like a stud. <laughs> I mean, come on, look at it. It's like the coolest suit there is. I think it's the, I, I'm biased, but I think it's the coolest looking superhero suit that there is. Perfect. All right. Okay, what makes Ant-Man such a great superhero, do you think? Well, one of the things that I like about this guy is that he's just a guy. You know, he wasn't born with any kind of superhero ability, um, but he puts on this suit, and so I, I think the audiences can relate to this character because of that. Um, and at the same time, his abilities are so specific and interesting, and strange when you kind of tell people what Ant-Man can do, sometimes... They're like, really? Okay, it's not like uh, they're, he's not flying or anything like that. And then you see the movie, and all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, he's invisible. Or, wow, look at how he can kind of talk to ants. And I see where that actually is an amazing thing to be able to do. And, uh, and because of all of those things, I think it makes for a really interesting and uh, exciting uh, ride and, and certainly a, a cool superhero to... Uh, you know, get behind. So did you get a chance to improvise in your scenes? And if you did, what do you think that brought to your role? Well, I did get to improvise a little bit in the in the scenes. And uh, I, I feel like on most things I've worked on, there's always a little bit of room to kind of play around. And uh, it brings a freshness. It brings sometimes, especially with some of the comedic stuff, uh, something can happen or be said that's just fun to play off of. And I think it adds a little bit of life to a, a scene in a way that you don't get in the same way if you just recite the lines. Very good. We're down to, I think, two questions. Oh, boy. What are we going to do to kill uh, the rest of the time? We have another question. No, oh. no. This is good. All right. Good, good. What did you enjoy most about being in a superhero movie? I had such a great time on this thing, and I think that it there was the the awareness that my kids were going to be able to see a movie that I've done, I've, they never have before. There was something so kind of, I think, ingrained in all of us that, that just, my God, to be able to act like a superhero as a grown-up. I did this stuff when I was a kid in my bedroom, but now, like, in front of cameras. And uh, it, it, I think I got into it even more than I'd anticipated, and I'd anticipated getting into it quite a bit. Are you telling me that you wore a big beach towel around your... Neck as a I think maybe I did that. I th I'm pretty sure that I put the towel around my neck back in the day. I uh, <laughs> I kind of had to put it away for a while, and, and then this came along. And he doesn't have a cape, but he's got buttons and cables and kind of cooler things. That's a cool-looking superhero. Okay, the, this is the $2 question, but it could bring in millions of dollars. What do you think 
the audience will expect or can expect from this movie? The thing that I think they're going to expect is interesting visuals and laughs. I think that has been very clear in the commercials. What I think they are going to get out of it is so much more because there's an, some a real emotional resonance to this story, and there's uh, some like great drama a lot, and a lot of action, uh, and some of the stuff that they've that they will see in this they've never seen before because it's never been done before. So I think that's really exciting. I feel like I'm talking to a man who realizes he made a really good choice in picking this film. I can't believe it that I am uh, involved in something so cool. <laughs> Honestly, I'm thrilled at the opportunity that I got with this.